Thank you so much for watching these videos. My name is Kamiya Simon Peter. Do not forget to subscribe, like, print, or share. Now, uh, we are continuing with our Android Momo API uh, uh, project. And uh, uh, remember, we're doing inheritance. Please do not forget to share these videos and also use your own logical use libraries that exist. However, this is to demonstrate how uh, possibly you can achieve whatever you want to achieve with the API. Now, do not forget that you're better programmers than me, so do not get lazy, okay? So, uh, please adopt better programming concepts rather than what I have here. All right, so some of the things I've skipped, for example, the amount that, be, that is supposed to come in from whatever, whoever is paying the currency can change. So you need to create a class that has these variables and you just put them in. All right, uh, for example, the party ID inclusive. So I'm going to go ahead again. I come back to my app and then Java and then I create the third class that we talked about, which class is going to be a check request to pay. So check. RTP. I press enter. Of course, the class will be created for us, and then this class is going to be extending. And it is extending, you can guess, the request to pay class. Okay, so in that way, we can be able to access the UUID just because it is required, and then the access token from the first activity, which is the get token. So in that case, if I am if I'm able to extend that, then it means I can come and get the token again. Get token, which will be a private static, which will be GT, and it is I can terminate, and then we can also get um oh, the UUID, okay, that were used, which is going to be UUID. Okay, how do we get that? Um, is the other class is going to is ch called request to pay, which will be RTP, RTP, and then I can terminate that. So I'm going to create um, methods here. So this method will be check check payment maybe. So it's going to be a public and a static again, and then I'll call it check payment. Okay, and then all right, so as usual, we already have something from our postman where we're supposed to have the request to pay. I'll just go and uh, copy the code if you haven't watched my postman videos. So get request to pay. If you haven't watched uh, the videos, please go ahead and watch and then you follow step by step. So I've copied this. All right, so one of one, they need the um, uh, token. We, we've uh, created a link for that. And then they need to get the ID that made the request to pay, the UUID, which is already here. All right, so I'm not creating a new UUID. So I'll go ahead and paste that. Okay, so we need to import the usual classes. Alt enter. Remember, we already implemented the library. And then the response, and then they add the exception for the execution of the response. Okay, and then this we must replace. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove that. And then we add a plus sign. So remember, we are already returning a string. So here we have no worry. So it will be request to pay, which is RTP, okay, dot, now, the class, uh, remember our class is in the request to pay is returning, We uh, okay, here we're returning the status, but we're supposed to be returning the UUID, so we're supposed to be returning the unique ID, okay, so if we're returning the unique ID, which means RTP dot, um, what is our method here in the request to pay? 
rtp dot rtp right yes so rtp dot rtp like that and then do not forget of course we have that red red warning but remember we can have our classes that are private and static and then so that is for the um uuid because it's the one that is being returned here the unique identifier that is already collected the other side and then we need to add our bearer token so i'll put a, a, a plus sign here plus a string the other side remember we are returning a string so that's why i'm not worried about the quotes so which will be um gitty dot the class already so gitty dot the class which is the token okay so no worries just because inside here in the token we are returning the token itself okay so we, we're supposed to get a response so we'll just copy this and then we are able to see through our response and the response will be the response body okay all right so this will be uh, object object three and then the response will be response three okay and then we need to add the exception for the json object which has been added here and then we can print the response code and then the status i may not need the uuid but i may need to uh, print out the object which is the body So object which will be object three okay so what are we returning in this case we're returning a string again and which string will be the object so return the string which is object three okay so it's warning us so that we add uh, uh, a string up here so it has already uh, made this is okay it is making it a json object for return and uh, all right so we can print this out okay so git and rt uh, they need to be private private and static okay that is solved and then private and static that is solved so all i need to do is come back to our main method and i'm running uh, check rtp so this is a class copy so we'll be creating another final here so it's going to be a final which will be the name of the class and then ck tp which is equal to new check okay that and then terminate so which means this will be uh, okay let me see when you go to check rtp check payment this will be check payment so this will be cktp dot check payment okay so very simple we can restart our application and then we'll see what we get all right let's see so it is at this moment calculating okay so we have our status okay the first status now we're going to run the activity again okay all right so we have the token the access token 
And then here is now our return here. So this is the object and the status of the item is pending. Okay, so you can break them down into lines, all right? But you can see now, uh, this is the currency and this is what we sent. Now, let me just go to the request to pay and I change, for example, the currency here to, um, let me see, to 15.55 Ghanaian shillings, G2K. And I'll run the activity again. And you'll see, I expect to have 15.5 GTK there. So here is the thread down here and the status. All right. Okay. It is running the same activity and showing status pending. So I'll have to check again. I'm going to restart uh, the application again uh, to work with the new changes. Because of the currency. So let me restart the application again. Okay, so it's done with running the first part to run the second part of the thread. Okay, so you can see the update here that these are 15. All right, so thank you so much for watching these videos. I don't know all. Uh, I want to change this number to 54 so that in case I run again, after uh, seeing uh, pending, I see success. So I'm going to go again to this um, test number here and I change it to 54. Five four, so that in case I run the activity again, I see a change in the status from pending to success. Okay, so let's see again. Okay, so I'll do run. Okay, so I do have status pending here. So I want to take about 30 seconds and then I check again. At least I should be seeing the status success here to show that the transaction went through. Okay, so let's see if we shall have that applied. Okay, down, down, it's still status pending. Okay, I'll check. All right, so it will be. I'm not. I'm not sure if I'll get a success for this activity, um, because the, the you can see that the token has changed here. The token was ending with KG, and he's ending with this. Okay, but however, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, we shall see how to get our, uh, set, uh, since I'm just sending from this activity, I do not have one for the callback URL, but they say the callback URL works in case you're not using HTTPS and using HTTP, but I haven't tested that yet. But believe me, I'll have to make sure that some of these things are taken to the final end. Okay, so I'll try again and see if I can have the access token changing. The access token is changing, but all right, there we are. We have a status that is successful. <laughs> Here you are. I think you can see the status now. The status is successful. All right. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Let's meet in another video. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and then do not forget to support this channel. Um, uh, for the different support we give uh, uh, to all of you who need uh, assistance at a one-on-one -on -one level. Assistance at a one-on-one -on -one level is totally free. But however, if you feel you want to share with us a cup of coffee, 
there's there's no need uh there's no need of uh hiding your joy from us you can share that joy with us uh and the links are down in the description you can also become a patreon uh and thank you so much let's meet in another video